whether you like it or not, the way God made you and designed you is to be a vessel of honor. You might choose not to be a vessel of honor, but Jesus Christ came and brought a solution by coming to this earth to prepare you once again to be a vessel of honor so that God can be with you not only upon you but on the inside of you let me tell you you that say I want to be anointed remember the anointing can also bring correction it is that correction that you receive when you receive the word of God with humility and sincerity of heart I mean you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God the devil automatically will start to flee it's a fresh anointing that comes upon you the whole time when you embrace the Word of God and you receive the Word of God. Religion, dust it off. Offenses, dust it off. Hurts and wrongdoings, dust it off. You know, when you dust those things off and get it away from you, the Bible says joy will automatically come and you will be filled with the Holy Spirit. The one who established you, the one who anointed you, is God. Whether you like it or not, you're an anointed one. What you do with the anointing, is up to you, not up to God. You're a son, you're a daughter of the Most High God. Be led by the Holy Spirit. He'll tell you who to preach to. He'll show you where you can go and help a broken heart to be healed. Where can you go to set a captive free? To go and tell people you don't have to live this way anymore. There's good news. Jesus came to took your sin and your guilt and your shame away. As you find yourself in Christ, the Anointed One, there's no guilt and there's no condemnation.